Don't you pretend like we're not friends? I'll try to unpack something today that's a little bit complicated and I'm still trying to figure it out in my head. It's come good in the meanwhile. At the same time, I'm kind of interested to see what's in some of these rocks. This rock has got some real nice stuff going on in it. It's got some quartz running through it. Maybe. No, I just remembered. Just remembered. Boop, 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 boo. Oh. Boo. Boop. Took me a while because my shed. My shed's a disaster currently. I'm waiting for shelving. This. This rock. Mick, Gadzi, and I uh, found several pieces of gold each around this. This is what the old timers were chasing in this old abandoned mine. A regular quartz vein right next to this that they had completely left alone and now you could tell that they were diving in down on this particular material. I don't know why, it looks like bedrock to me. But then I am certainly not a geologist and I am willing to take a chance on it, right? I have been struggling with these feelings of a bit of disillusionment around the prospecting community. And I say that not because I feel like I'm jaded. I feel like the, 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 I was gonna say tempo. The tempo is probably a right word for it. The, f the feeling that I'm getting from the community or I had been getting from the community really felt nasty. Not as in like directed towards me, but just in general. When I first started prospecting, the community was super strong, very tight knit. And I've seen a lot of change in the last seven years. Where it doesn't feel quite as tight knit anymore. Or it didn't, at least it didn't up until a point. I'll, I'll explain that in a second. It just, it felt suddenly very commercial. I think YouTube and Facebook and social media in general have had a really big thing, part to play in that. Because, again, social media is all about projecting like the best case scenario right it's all about projecting the best possible outcomes that you've ever had uh while out in the creek and it fe it feels like everyone's i feel like the community at least from a social media aspect went down the hyper realistic route there for for a long time it still is i think and i've made a bit of effort on my channel to deviate away from that so you get more realism but i digress That's a weird feeling rock. Breaking up exactly the same as the bedrock. Now that I got it broken up, it doesn't look like a bedrock. That's been super cooked at some point, and it's got bits of quartz in it. Maybe. Maybe. So I had those feelings for a little while, and I was trying to combat it on my end by, by projecting realistic prospecting, like what it's really like to go out there. So I've been hunting for these hard rock mines, I've been finding bugger all gold. You know, sometimes I've, I've, I've had a couple of instances where I've hit a lot of specimens and, and gold nuggets and some veins that had gold in them, but for the most part, most of the, the content that I was putting out contained stuff that just wasn't that flashy. And I was trying to project what it's really like to, to have a gold prospecting experience. At least I felt that way right up until I went up to the Metal Detecting World Championships in Yenda. And that event was amazing. That event, that event just reinvigorated my drive and want to make more videos about prospecting to share. It, it had that essence of the community that that was there when I first started prospecting full time. It was such a good event. It was, everyone was there because they were enthusiastic about the activity and not what you could necessarily pull out of the ground. Everyone was enthusiastic to be part of that community. And there was such passion and dedication there and I really liked it. And it just, it sparked a whole new drive and motivation to go out there and keep doing what I have been doing. This pan isn't even seasoned. Like, there are no rules. Imagine if there's gold actually in this. Really doubt there will be, but if there is, that'd be cool. Marcus Aurelius said, it can ruin your life if it ruins your character. It's a very interesting point. It means that if you don't stick to your core values, what you truly believe in and what guides you through your life it will ruin you and for me that means making substandard fake content
Like, honesty and integrity are the number one cornerstones on my channel. Because if I'm not projecting the honest truth of the situation, I'm leading other people down the path to ruin, and I'm setting them up from failure for the day from day one. What the detecting championship showed me is that there is still a large and dedicated community of prospectors and treasure hunters out there who still want that. Panning in an unseasoned pan is not my you know brightest moment. Since then I've published several videos that really captivate that feeling that I want to project, that sense of realism, that unhyperrealistic content, and they've gone really well, which gives me even more hope that there is an insatiable appetite for stuff in this world that isn't hyperrealized. Another reason why we're probably going to see absolutely no gold in here. Oh, be damned, I can see. Oh my god. Look at the gold! What? There's a little bit too much gold in that to be contamination. That is very surprising. Well, I guess I'm going back there. Don't get me wrong, it's incredibly small stuff, but this is just one rock. That's just one rock. What? That's confusing. That's very confusing.